Oh. Uh, hey guys, um, welcome to the next episode of Danny from the blog. In this video, we're going to be covering video metrics, um, basically which ones to look out for, what they are, and how to use them for an effective video strategy. To create an effective video content strategy, you need to understand your metrics. Like us, you might have some sick looking video content, which has been edited. Okay, Tom. And you've probably added some pretty hot templates and animations, videos, but they're not delivering results and you want to know why. But also if they are helping to deliver results, you should probably know why too. So stay tuned and I'll go over the most important video metrics to watch out for and why they matter. Um, just give me a minute, will you? Watch time. It's the total amount of time users have spent watching your videos. Why does it matter? It's more strategically useful than impressions because it shows whether people properly watch or played your video. You can use this metric to determine whether your video resonates with your audience. YouTube uses total watch time to rank videos in its search algorithm. Algorithm. It's a fancy f***ing word. Better watch time promotes greater visibility and will potentially gain you more followers on YouTube, which means you can then market to a greater pool of people. Bam. Average completion rate. Essentially, this is a portion of your video which your users watch. Why does it matter? Higher average completion rate indicates that users aren't just clicking away after three seconds. Now, if you're publishing on Facebook, then you probably remember your lines a bit better. If you're publishing videos on Facebook, this metric is highly relevant. Facebook uses completion rate to rank your videos on your user's feed. Nailed it! First time, Tom. If you're publishing your videos on YouTube, no, you lazy If you're publishing your videos on Facebook, this... If you're publishing videos on Facebook, this... Oh, you... Why can't I just fucking say that in line? Bam! Average watch time. This is a total number of watch time of your videos divided by the number of plays. It also includes replays. It also includes replays. Oh, why does it matter? It can help you edit your videos to the right length for your audience. Ugh. Audience retention. One of the most crucial metrics, audience retention, essentially analyzes how many people are watching your videos and how long for. Essentially, it's a video bounce. <laughs> Why is it important? Good question. And I will answer that whilst reading off the script in my fridge. You always experience some drop off after the first few seconds. However, knowing when people stop watching your video can highlight the sections or topics people like least. It could indicate where your video is rambling or where they f up. Content stuffing, unengaging or perhaps just too long. Story of my life. Quick retention tips. Remember these quick tips to help you boost your audience retention rate. Number one, stay strong. The first 15 seconds of your video are essential. This is where you really wanna grab people's attention and prove that your video is worth watching. Number two, keep it fresh. A good message can be lost if it's not entertaining. Tom, a collage of me entertaining. And put this voiceover over the top so they can't see me reading off a script. Videos for business must go the extra mile to weave in clever humor and insights, especially if you are in a traditionally dry sector like legal or finance. Okay, number three, always write a script. The best and most entertaining videos are normally ones with a bit of pre-production, planning, scripting, 
Although winging it and being spontaneous can make for some good videos, like all of these, it's probably a good idea to make sure you have a script written, planned and memorized, so that you can make sure your video is as entertaining as possible whilst getting all the facts across. Zero of what I just said was written on this script and it sounded so much better. Number four, go long. Innuendo, right here. When you've aced your formula, try making some longer form content. Yeah, attention span is dwindling nowadays. But if you make something relevant, engaging, and informative, your audience are likely gonna stick around. Engagement. It's the best metric for measuring qualitative data. It includes likes, shares, comments, and reactions. Why it matters. Engagements leave some of the deepest insight into how people feel about your video. They can leave positive or negative comments, which allows you to tweak your video content based on your audience's emotional needs. Follower growth. An increase in likes or followers or subscribers on a YouTube channel, even people signing up to your newsletter, all indicates one thing. More people are following your content. Why does this matter? These are all valuable fans, subscribers, people who are following your content, who clearly want to know what you've got to say or produce, which makes them the perfect target audience to sell your product or service to. Oh, I think I just broke it. <laughs> Rewatches. This is sometimes listed as unique watches per viewer or unique views per watcher. It gives an indication of how many times a single viewer has watched your video. That's it. That's it. That, that's all there is for that section. So, thank you. But why does it matter? It's an interesting metric and it deserves more love. These customers are ripe for turning into fans or targeting for remarketing purposes. Rewatch stats can give you more ideas when it comes to enhancing your videos. Check to see if people are watching the whole video or just skip to certain sections. This way it can help generate topics that gain traction. CTR or click-through rate. This is an easy one to get confused. On most text-based sites, it generally means the amount of people that have clicked through to your website from an ad or similar. But in video marketing, it normally refers to the number of clicks divided by the number of impressions on a thumbnail. On YouTube, you can add your own clickable links and annotations to your videos. By leveraging event tracking and UTM links, you can also measure the click-through rate from your videos to your website. But why does it matter? I'm gonna tell you. The former helps you improve your video titles and thumbnails to increase the amount of people who actually watch your videos. And the latter helps you improve your CTAs or your call to actions. This is basically how you direct your watchers to your website and ultimately sell them a product. I'm gonna read the last bit off the script because five hours I've been shooting this video. Facebook and YouTube aren't the only online platforms with interesting video metrics to analyze. Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and TikTok, again, TikTok, really. Also offer you the ability to review your content and learn from it, which is great. The more you know, the better you're able to target your users. Ultimately, the more sales you make. That's the gist of it. <sighs> All right, so that's it for this video, but there is something else I wanna mention. YouTube and Facebook aren't the only way to measure your videos and how they perform. There's other platforms and methods to measuring your videos. Instagram and TikTok, for example, have some really unique ways for measuring interaction with your video content. So Instagram lets you see just how many people went to view your profile after watching your video. Also, how many people saved it and how many people forwarded it to other users. TikTok has some great demographic video metrics, such as your trending videos, gender breakdown, top territories of your viewers, the time and day your viewers are most active, sound bites they enjoy. Frustratingly, at the moment, you can only find this information as a TikTok pro. That said, YouTube and Facebook are still hands down the winners 
in terms of how many people view their content on a daily basis. It's like an old sweet wrapper in here. And whilst the ongoing investment into Facebook Watch has seen it become a real contender into how video is consumed, YouTube is still hands down the king or queen of video content for now. Not only is it the most popular platform for sharing video content, it's also the most important to the overall internet experience. While optimized videos also rank in Google search engine, which obviously is a big bonus if you want to reach more people. So key things to remember. So obviously the metrics that matter most to you are the ones that define your marketing objectives. So you want to engage fans, boost your brand or generate leads. Whatever your goals, the more data you have, the better informed you'll be. It can really help to fine tune your approach to video content. After all, knowledge is power. Well, that was a difficult one to do, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Uh, I don't envy Tom for editing it, but if you've enjoyed it or found the information useful, uh, then like, subscribe, leave a comment, uh, hit that bell icon if that's what you're into, 2021 style. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Peace. Videos make shit hot, customizable logo animations, lower thirds and alpha overlays. It's all done online, in the cloud and in just a few clicks. You just upload your image or your logo, change some colors, input your text and you can even change audio tracks. Then you just click render and wait for the good stuff. Why the f would you not want to save time and money making your videos look more professional, more engaging, and ultimately get more money from your punters?